guys. Welcome to today's class. We'll be looking at a question under associative property. This question will actually consider both associative and commutative properties. So we'll be trying to see how we can actually have a question that will be asked to find to determine if it will be associative or and also if it is commutative. So considering this, I realized that was, we have a, a set n of natural numbers. We are first of all given a set n of natural numbers. We are given a set n of natural numbers where we have an operation asterisk. Then we are given that what f operation g is f square minus 3g over f plus g. So if this is the operation we are using for associativity and for commutativity, we need to, to consider each of the following properties. So for the very first one we are considering here is for the commutative property. The very first one we are considering here for the commutative property. For commutativity, we realize that what for commutativity, f operation g must be equals to g operation f. And then looking at this, for f of g, since we know f of g is given as f square minus 3g over f plus g. Therefore, for g of f, g operation f rather, we have g square minus 3f over g plus f. If you look at this critically, if you want to equate both of them, you have f square minus 3g over f plus g. And then you have g square minus 3f over this one will still turn to f of f plus g. And then we realize that one. even after this cancel out after cost multiplication, we'll be having f square minus 3g equals to g square minus 3f. We realize that these two are not the same thing and therefore are not commutative. So I can say since f of g, since f operation g is not equal to g operation f, then operation asterisk is not commutative on that set n. For our one figure two, we are asked to determine if this operation is associative. So for associativity, we know we'll be introducing a new one because we know for associativity, we consider theory variables. So I'll be introducing, so we have f of g, we're saying f operation g operation h. Would they give us the same thing as f operation g operation open bracket g operation h? We are going to be considering if this will give us the same thing. So we can say let f, we can even without substituting, we can decide to just compare. We know for f of g, for f operation g, all operation h, I'll be having from the formula for this, I know I'll be having f square minus 3g all over f plus g, then operation h. I know if I want to simplify this further using the idea of this operation, then this old thing here will be my f, will be my f, will be my first one, and this one will be my g. So, I'll applying that principle, I'll have for my f of g, I'll have, I'll have f square minus 3g over f plus g, all square minus 3g. My g here is h, all over my f which is f square minus 3g over f plus g plus my g, which is also h here. So this is what I'll be getting for the very first one. I'll be considering the second one. I'm considering the second part. The second part is what? f operation g operation h. For f operation g operation h, are we having f? Okay, so that means we'll be comparing our g and h together now. We'll be having our g here will be g square minus 3h all over g plus h. So this will be what we'll be having. And then combining f and f and g square minus and this whole entity as two different objects. That we are going to be relating under the operation asterisk in order to test for associativity. We'll be taking them as two. So we'll be having we'll be having f square minus we'll be having f square minus g square minus t h over g plus h. You know, that's theory into bracket this because you know, it's theory h all over g plus h, which is f plus g square minus theory h over g plus h. I've gotten the two values that I need to get now. All I need to do is compare. So, since so for in order to prove associativity. To prove it that truly associative for 
F operation G operation H equals to F operation G operation H. I should be able to equate both of them. And then I'll be having this one equals to this. I'll be having this particular one. I'll be trying to equate this to this. So equating them, S square minus KG, I'll be having S square minus KG. All over f plus g minus three h all over s k minus three g over f plus g plus h. We quitting it to the other side. Which will be taken from here. Which is f square minus three into bracket g square minus three h all over g plus h all over f plus g square minus three h all over g plus h. Now, we compare these two, and then we realize that they are not equal. Because what, if you expand this one, if you expand the left-hand side, you'll be getting your terms, you'll be having f raised to the power 4, and then in this case, you'll be having g raised to the power 4. So, it is obvious that since f and g are not equal, then this operation is not associated. Since, f, since the value of f, Since the values of f and g, let me say the values of f, g, and h are not equal upon expansion, then operation asterisk is not associative is not associated under sets. Under the set, I think the natural sets, yeah, the set of natural numbers that is under set N. Now, alternatively, instead of doing something like this, because this can be very confusing, you can just alternatively Pick out three particular natural numbers that you want to use as values for your f, g, and h, and then simply substitute into the two brackets, and then get your answer. You realize that your answer will also not be the same because, <laughs> because they have different expansion values. So this is a typical question that you can be given to test your abilities. So this is a typical question that, that you can be given to test your abilities on associative closure and commutative, and commutative properties. So in the next class, we'll be looking at distributive property, that is the right-hand distributive property and the left-hand distributive property. See you next class. Have a nice day.